Hello, my name is Steve, and welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, the Star Wars Collection. This is episode 18, Disney Infinity. How many of you remember playing the Disney Infinity video game? Uh, this game allowed players to play in a sandbox which featured characters from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars. Each character had its own skill set, and many of them had their own figures. And if you would use the figures with the game, you could get enhanced abilities with your figures. Um, I never played the game, but I thought the figures looked pretty cool, so I decided to add them to my Star Wars collection. Um, I think I have them all, at least from the looks of the back here, I think I have them all, plus there's a couple other ones that aren't listed back here that were part of sets. I may not have all the variations, because as you can see, like with this one, this is Light Up FX, in other words, his lightsaber lights up. I don't know if I have all the variations of them. So if I'm missing one, leave a comment below and let me know about it so I know I can go online and try to find it, so because I like to have the complete collection if I can. So, without further ado, let's open the boxes and see what figures I've got. Now, we may as well start with this one, because this is the last figure that I added to my collection. I just recently received this. I didn't realize I was missing this figure, or just recently. And uh, this is Anakin Skywalker, and as you can see, more of a cartoonish type look, which I kind of find very interesting. And uh, I, I like the design of it. He's uh, got a very intense expression there, as you can see. Um, on the back of the card, it does list the 15 individual figures that you can get. And gives you a little description of the character. Um, yeah. These would work with the game 3.0 version. So uh, if you had an earlier game of Disney Infinity, they probably wouldn't work very well. But no, you'd put these figures down on the board and it would extract extra abilities from the figure. So we have Anakin Skywalker. He is our first one to look at today. From the Clone Wars, by the way. So let's see what we have in this box. I actually have two boxes of these that I have packed up. And I think first, yeah, I think this is a good box to start with because we kind of have the starter pack here. Um, now, I had a Wii at one time, a Wii video game. So, of course, when I bought this, I bought it compatible for the Wii. Um, and as you can see with this one, we do have the Anakin figure and we do have the Ahsoka figure. So it came with two figures already, along with the, uh, what else it needed to play with it. I never opened it up, so I'm not exactly sure what's in the box. This is, oh, as long as we got it here, I just got to take a look. Yeah, it looks like the two Anakin figures here are basically, ex oh, they're not quite the same. There is just a slight difference. They're very close. But I've noticed the hair is different on the two figures. So that was kind of interesting. They pretty much have the same pose. But the hair is different and they might be just slightly off with the pose. But it's very close to the pose. So if you're going to play the game, you got to have the starter pack, right? Well, let's put that over here. We'll put the figure in front of it. Now there were other sets that you could buy, including <laughs> the Anakin and Ahsoka set, which is basically what we see here. But if you didn't want to buy the whole box, you could buy the figures in their individual set. Um, and I'm not sure what this little thing here in the middle is, but there's kind of a little deal there. And there again, they do show the figures on the back. So it looks like I have three Anakins. And this, these two Anakins are the same. Yep, even the hair design is the same. 
So, let's see what else we got. We got, let's go with the next two pack. So there we have Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. And this time the little centerpiece is the Death Star. So Luke Skywalker, a legendary rebel pilot and Jedi, uses his lightsaber to fight the Galactic Re Empire. Princess Leia is a rebel princess and noble diplomat, defends the rebels with her blaster. So let's move the individual one over here. There's another two pack. And I have one more two pack. And this one has Ray and Finn from the new movies. So you can see that this spanned the original trilogy all the way through the latest trilogy. So basically all nine movies plus the Rebels TV show is going to be included in these. Uh, um, it's going to be included. Okay, now we have some individual figures. In addition to Anakin, I have Kanan from the Rebels TV show. And I have Kanan from the Rebels TV show. Now, why would I possibly have two? Because this one is one of the variants. This one does not have a light-up lightsaber. This one does have a light-up lightsaber. So you can see what I mean with the two variants. So we've got two Kanans. Basically, it's the exact same figure. Just one lights up, one does not. One does not. Okay, and we have... Ezra, Ezra Bridger from the Rebels TV show. After all, if you're going to have Kanan, it might be nice to have Ezra as his battle partner, correct? And then we've got Finn and Ray. So, of course, we got to have the rest of the threesome there, and that would be Poe Dameron. So there we go. Now, the only thing left I have in this box is something kind of unique. And they didn't make too many of these, but it looks like there is three sets. What they did is they came out with uh, some discs that you could use, which is basically, I think, has the same information as the bottom of these figures. But uh, they had three sets of discs that you could use to get more powers or more characters to do better in your video game. This is the Rise Against the Empire Power Disc Pack, and it includes the original characters. It has one disc for Princess Leia, one for Luke, one for Boba Fett and Slave One, and one for a Y-Wing fighter. So you get more, a um, few more little things to play with with that. I don't know if that'll stand there or not. There is also a set called Twilight of the Republic Power Disc Pack. And this time it features General Grievous Wheelbike, a galactic team up of Mace Windu. It has uh, the skies over Felucia, so you can uh, decorate your toy box with the colorful skies of the exotic Felucia planet. And the force of Felucia, so you can transform your toy box world into the vibrant force of Felucia. So you can actually get different playing areas with some of these discs. And then the third one is the Star Wars The Force Awakens Power Disc Pack, which of course features our characters from the newest movies. In this one, we have a Finn's Stormtrooper costume that you can add. It has Poe's Resistance Jacket. I guess you can decorate your characters a little different. It also has a resistance, resistance tactical strike. Call upon the heroes of the resistance and unleash a tactical strike. And it also has a quad jumper. Um, race across any planet with this versatile vehicle. So you can see you can get all kinds of little things to add in to your play set. Um, I also have a third one. Actually, it's just a double of the uh, Twilight of the Republic Power Pass. But it was uh, kind of neat because these little... Most of these, or at least a couple of these... Once again, I picked them up on clearance. You know, got to be a, gotta be a good shopper for some of this stuff. These were normally $10 per pack. A couple of these I picked up for $2.98. So one-third off. Over one-third off. So, you can see I'm still looking... For the sales 
In fact, a lot of these figures I did not buy when it was originally going on so much. I started picking them up more toward the end of the Infinity because Disney has closed that game now. There is no Disney Infinity anymore. Um, but as they were closing out of the figures, that's actually when I started picking up a bunch of these. So some of these I got on a pretty good clearance sale. Some of them I paid regular price for because some stores didn't have them on clearance, but I wanted them in my collection. So that is box one of the Infinity set. And to tell the truth, I think I'll do a second part of this set in a second video, which will follow this video. Okay, so here is the end of Disney Infinity Part 1. And as we leave today, just want to remind you, if you've enjoyed the video, like all these things I'm showing you, hit the like button. Let me know you like it. Leave a comment. Did you play this game? How many of these figures do you have? And yes, I have another box of figures yet. Subscribe. Share it with your friends. I do appreciate those of you that have been spending the time watching them, though, because it does keep my enthusiasm going a little bit. So, until the next video, may the Force be with you, and keep collecting!